Good morning and welcome to beautiful sunny Indonesia. Today we are going to go and check out the beaches that you can visit from Yogyakarta. And I am starting the day, my beach day, up on a cliff. Yep, not starting the beach day on the beach, but on a cliff overlooking the beaches that are close to Yogya, within an hour. Um, I got up early this morning, early -ish, seven, and drove through. The traffic wasn't too bad, but it still took me 50 minutes to get to this point overlooking the beaches. The idea is to get a nice scenic view of the beach, and, whew, it's breezy up here. That's lovely. This big viewpoint out here. Wow, how beautiful is that? Is this concrete area? Goes down to the edge of the cliff. There's a red line, I think that's, you're not meant to go any further than that. And you see all that beautiful coastline spreading for miles. Looks like some good surf down there too. Now, just a short ride from the viewpoint down here and welcome to Parentritis Beach, the most popular beach that is close to Yog Yakarta. Now, some things to note about the beaches along this south stretch here. They are not your typical white sand, calm blue sea water beaches. While the sand is still soft and pleasant to walk on, it has a remarkable dark to black colouring. This is because of the volcanic ash, which over the years has been liberally scattered over the whole region by the many local volcanoes. Also, the water is not that swimming friendly. There are riptides, strong swells and large waves. So it's very pretty to look at, but not so good for getting into, even if you're a strong swimmer. You'll note there's not a lot of people swimming here and there is nobody surfing. So that says something. So that means that most people come here to enjoy their times on the beach leading to an increase of beach-based activities like horse and buggy rides, ATVs and four-wheel driving experiences as well as lying in the sun and sunbathing. And while it may seem chaotic when you first arrive at the beach, you only need to take a short walk either to the left or the right and you can find yourself a quiet patch away from all the busyness. Now, one more thing to note when coming to Parentritis Beach. This is home to the Queen of the South. And local folklore warns visitors not to wear green clothes while visiting her domain, or she will entice you into the ocean where you will drown. <laughs> Good news, I'm not wearing anything green today, so I should be able to safely show you around the beautiful and busy at this point, Parentritis Beach. Leaving Perentritis Beach behind, we move along the coast and there is two much quieter beaches that are barely developed. There's Parankasumo Beach and Palenge Beach. They both have the same soft, dark sand and quite rough seas, but there is far less happening on the beach. So it's a nice option if you want to escape all the activities of Perentritis Beach and maybe get a bit of peace and quiet to yourself.
Our final beach for the day is Depok Beach and this is becoming famous because of the delicious fresh seafood you can buy here. Again, the beach itself has the dark, soft sand and crashing waves and there are numerous activities to do along the beach. But the real reason to visit here is that this is where many local fishermen land their catch. And lots of people come down to buy the delicious fresh squid, fish, lobster and crab that is caught along this coastline. Most of Yogyakarta's fresh seafood comes from this beach. Local warongs have sprung up amongst the fishing fleet giving you the opportunity to sample some of these delicacies. Well, it seems fitting that I'm ending the day in the same place as I started the day, at this beautiful viewpoint, looking down the coast over the beaches that we've been exploring today. That's been a bit of a surprise, I must admit, or a shock. The scenery is stunning, amazing coast. Um, and we really only explored three beaches, which are really three parts of one very, very long beach that stretches up this coast. Now, I must admit, the first beach I went to, I was a bit shocked with all that was going on on the beach. The quad bikes, the motorbikes, the cars driving up on the beach. Can't say I approve of that. You come to a beautiful place and then you destroy the environment. Mm, not my idea. Anyway, and people still throwing glitter down, not to cigarette butts, not taking it home. Whatever you take with you, please take home, leave the environment beautiful for all the other people who want to come and see it. Um, so that was a bit shocking. Went further down, further I got away from the area and away from the coach parties and the groups. Um, did find some beautiful isolated stretches of beach. The coast along here is quite wild, so it's not exactly swimming territory. There is some good surf spots to be had along here though. Uh, didn't have a surfboard with me. Did see one surfer. Um, but yes, it, it is a beautiful scenery. Is it worth driving from Jogja down here for the beach? If you want to sit on the beach, relax in the peaceful quiet under a palm tree, no, I'd have to say no. If you're going to come down with a family, enjoy a nice fish meal on the beach and then Depok with the fishing villages, they specialise in the seafood, um, then yes, it is worth it. It's a little bit cooler. The scenery is beautiful. If you're expecting quiet, and white sandy beaches no the beach here, while it's very very soft is the dark volcanic kind it's very very beautiful good for sunbathing on um, and even though there's those three main points where people tend to converge on the beach just walk a little bit along the beach or drive a little further on go on you will find a quiet spot there is 70 kilometers of beach here most people stay in those like three little spots so you will find yourself a bit of space there isn't a great deal of shade along the beach in the first beach we went to there were some umbrellas that we could sit under and sail but there's no trees right along the beach this uh, coast can get quite wild with both high waves and high winds coming in so there's no real shade so bring your own shade um, these are just the, the main beaches that are close within an hour's ride of Yogyakarta apparently there is dozens I saw a listing of 43 other beaches that are along this coast most of them are like an hour and a half two hours away from Jogja so they will be quieter and quite different hopefully more environmentally sensitive protected beaches I hope so but I've enjoyed my day it's really great everybody's very happy enjoying it I just wish people if you come down here please 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 don't leave your rubbish take it home don't drive on the beach or use any motor vehicle on the beach polluting the beauty that we want to leave for other people and come down and enjoy.